tell my family. So this man was there at the start, and here he is every day, 10 years later. God bless you, David Aiken. Come forward, please. Ten years ago, almost to the day, on a very rainy Thursday night, I was called to the Armored Police Station. Marine Corporal Nicholas G. Xaros had been killed in combat in Afghanistan. I had the honor of accompanying Nick's dad, then Lieutenant Stephen Xaros, to notify the rest of the family. It was one of the most difficult nights of my 22 years of ordained ministry as a chaplain. But we as a country that is resilient, as a country of faith-filled people, march on, as that is who we are. We mourn the passing of Corporal Nick, but we also celebrate the military family, and in particular the Marine family, as they leave no one behind, and they never forget. This is who we are, this is what we are all about. In the New Testament, in John, Jesus gave us these words, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. We are here to honor those words, to honor Nick and all those who have made the supreme sacrifice, that we might be here together to observe these powerful moments and to ride in freedom. Lord, we pray for peace. We pray for understanding. We pray for an end to all violence. But we also know there is a time and a place for all things. And we vow to protect and preserve the freedoms that have been earned by so many heroes over the years. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ride safe, brothers and sisters. <laughs>